also my first official try it yourself project was a success i'm really excited i made candles find out how i did it stay tuned Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Millie, and today we're making candles. I'm so excited. I have been wanting to make candles for a really long time now, and the reason that I decided to do it now, A, we're on quarantine, which I'm getting sick and tired of, but I'm gonna stay in the house, and B, there was a need for it, because I was outside with Avery on the porch, enjoying the, like spring time going into summer evening and within like two minutes I started getting eaten up by mosquitoes so I brought my diffuser out and put citronella oil in it which was fine but I was like I feel like this I could make citronella candles myself rather than buying them so that's how this idea started and I did it. I actually made them. They smell really good. So if you want to see how I made them, stay tuned. All right, guys. So these are all the items that I use to make my candles. You're going to need something to put the candle in. Um, I use those decorative holders. I use my doTERRA citronella oil because I'm making these for the outside. You're going to need wicks wax i'm using a pot a soup pot you should definitely use a glue stick or some glue dots and to actually melt the wax i'm using a pyrex measuring cup um, online i did see a lot of people mention buying a wax pourer but since i didn't know whether i was actually gonna do this candle making Thing again I didn't want to buy a wax boiler in the event that I never do this craft project again and I was trying to keep my cost down I'm actually not sure whether I would buy the wax boiler in the future even if I did the craft project again because the measuring cup did just fine and I have it on hand already so I started off with my, the temperature kind of low and I wish I had of initially set it to a medium high temperature so that it would boil. I put the wax in the water before it started boiling which is why all of my mixing around is doing nothing but eventually it will melt of course so i didn't actually have a method for how much wax i was going to put into the measuring cup i just kind of eyeballed it and i think it actually worked out pretty well but for these three six ounce containers dipping the wick into the melted wax I don't know why people lied <laughs> on the internet and said that this was a method it's not a method it doesn't work don't do it use the glue got glue dot excuse me or a hot glue gun to adhere the wick to the bottom of your container
So here I'm actually um, trying to figure out what I should do with my third candle because the kit that I bought only came with two of the stabilizers for the wick. And as you can see, I'm making three candles. So I have these bamboo sticks from when I made Al Pastor tacos. And I decided that I was going to use one of the bamboo sticks to actually stabilize the wick. I actually like this better than the stabilizers that were for the candle. I don't know if it has to do with the fact that it was taped to the jar, um, but it worked out much better and stayed in place, even with the just dipping the, <laughs> the candle wick into the wax method for adhering the wick to the bottom of the container. So I guess that's the lesson learned. If you have something that's gonna stabilize it completely, then just dipping the wick into the bottom will be fine. But as you can see here, as soon as I poured the hot wax into the container, then it just flopped over. Now I'm adding about 30 drops of the citronella oil into each candle. So I figured the best method would be to put a little bit of wax into the candle and then add this, the oil, and then top it off with wax. It seemed like that would be the best way to distribute the oil through the candle. And as you just saw, I had to switch out the wick because it was bending over was not working and I was getting pretty frustrated. So this is the candle that I'm making with the bamboo as the stabilizer. And you can see I put the tape on there so it would stay on the container and stabilize the wick. As you can see, I did have to add more wax, but since the water was boiling, it was a lot easier to melt this wax than it was the first set that I did. I said I put a little bit of wax in and I put my 30 drops of oil and topped it off with wax and as like I said it didn't move this time so that was exciting so now I'm putting the candles off to the side so that they can cure for 72 hours so this is 72 hours later, and you'll see that I did three more candles in the mason jars, and you'll hear about them later. <laughs> I'm cutting off the wicks so that they're ready to light. They look really good, and I think they cured really well. All right, y'all, so I just wanna give y'all a little list of tips that I have for, that I've learned from making candles. So one, 
I watched videos where people just dipped the candle um, wick into the wax and then put it in the base of the jar or whatever they were making it in. That did not work for me. As soon as the hot wax went into the jar, um, as you as you probably saw, the wicks just tilted over. So it was not working. Um, and I was trying to find my glue gun so that I could put glue at the bottom. But I am currently doing the Marie Kondo method in my condo. <laughs> <laughs> and I could not find my glue gun but I did find it for the second set of candles that I made but those candles didn't turn out as great as I wanted them to because they don't have that much of a fragrance so I need to work on my measurements so that's actually my second um, tip is make sure that you're using enough of your oil or whatever you're using the citronella came out really good i actually gave one to my mom um, and i've used it on my balcony and it it works really well and i put about 30 drops in each of these so that worked out well i tried like it's summertime so i wanted like a summertime flavor scent I guess is the word um, for my the other candles that I tried so I tried to do a margarita you know it did not come out right I thought I was doing correct measurements so I've got to kind of figure out what I did wrong um, you can't smell it at all I can't smell it if I put it up to my nose I cannot smell it hold on here they are I can't barely I can smell it a little bit, but not much. So I need to work on my what my measurements are gonna be for making candles. Of course, it also depends on the size, right? Like this is six ounces, I guess. I don't know how, I don't know what size this is, these jars are, but these are about six ounces. I thought these were eight, but they must be like 12. Or 10. I guess I could get one and put water in it and figure that out. Oh well, science. So, so tip number three. I let them sit for about 72 hours to cure. Everything that I was reading said you could do like 24 hours and the candle wax that I purchased from Amazon didn't exactly have directions. So I just went with 72 hours just to make sure that they were cured and good and I haven't had an issue at all with burning them. Um, they're, they came out really well. My next purchase is going to be bigger ones because I definitely expected these to be bigger if you didn't see my Amazon haul. Those are my three tips so far. I will let you know if I try candle making again and if you have done candle making or if you are a candle making expert then please let me know in the comments and let me know what you think I did wrong or what I can improve on. I was honestly thinking maybe I shouldn't be using my doTERRA ones. I just, well for the citronella I definitely want to use the doTERRA ones. Um, for the margarita scent, I probably won't be doing that again because I don't want to waste my oils. Yeah, no, not a good idea. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit the like button below and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see when I post new videos. All right, y'all. Thanks. Bye.